Yo, what's up? We are now at Ries Bildrofs at Storo, and today I'm just going to do some checks with the MC Hammer, my Tesla Model 3 Performance. We will check the, the front windscreen for any damages because, you know, it's, it's actually more important now during winter because if the front windscreen is damaged then, and you appreciate the car, then the windscreen might crack. I have some videos in the past where the front windscreen in the Model X cracked because I didn't see the damage. So I think we don't have too crazy damage. Uh, uh, Roger, what is this one? Uh, so Roger here is going to do the work today. Uh, so, so the, are you going to fix something here? Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Okay. And uh, yeah, you're going to use an ER lumper. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and when it's done, I'm going to uh, put a um, pit fill. Okay. It, yeah, on top. So there's a, actually a little bit of uh, stone chip there. You can barely see it. And this windscreen has lots of these. You see, here's one here. You can barely see it, kind of there. Um, and also Roger told me that the edge of the windscreen is weaker than the middle here. Uh, you can almost hammer on the middle here, but if you hammer here, it will And this is not something only with Tesla. Also other cars, I guess like that Golf, will also have the same uh, weakness. And usually when you, ooh, usually the, the damage you see, you don't see the damage here on the edge. And that will also cause the, the front windscreen to crack. So there's a, a funny device. So we just put some uh, fill on it to, uh, to make it uh, better. So let me see, show you on the other side. I have tiny, tiny little uh, stone chips all over the place. So you see here, there's also a small one. Oh, I can, I can even feel it with my uh, nail. Uh, there, a little bit, you know, every day, every day now in winter, I get bombarded. There's also one here, everywhere. So, but, uh, okay, there's it is, okay. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, so he put something in there, and now he, uh, twist it, and there's a mirror on the inside. Oh, I heard click, 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 click. I think the car went into some sleep mode. So you know the trick I always do is I just open this to keep the car unlocked and then just do this. So I know you guys uh, trying to educate me that, oh, but Bjorn, you can just use keep climate on, yes. But it's way easier to just do it like this than to go inside and enable it. Another bonus is that then, now the car is unlocked in case Roger wants to enter the car and do something. But, um, so, uh, Roger, the, these tiny little, little damages, yeah. w can it cause the windscreen to crack? No. Okay. Uh, not this one. Okay, not, no. not this one. If you get uh, a bigger stone chip with uh, small cracks in it. Okay. Yeah. Then it can uh, break if you don't do anything with it. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so at least for now, we don't have to worry about that. I can still preheat the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you see, this is also something that many people don't know is that if you have a, if you have a damage, remember guys, why did the, the Cybertruck window break? Because the glass was weakened and then it breaks. So if you take a brand new windscreen and you blow on the, on the fan, it will not break. But there's, an, except for one thing though, Roger told me that Model X has this heated uh, bla wiper blade thing, which is just a heater element on the bottom here. And they have seen many, many times that that heated element there is almost too strong. So it breaks on the same place between some of the heat elements. So if you have Model X, be careful using it. So let's wait for this one to uh, dry, I guess. A another tip uh, Roger told me is that you should put some silicone uh, uh, I don't know if this is silicone wax or is it silicone? Let's see. Uh, can we say what that is? Turtle wax. Uh, so it's just turtle wax silicone list fix. So you should put this. How often should we apply this? Uh, I use it every time I wash the car. Yeah, Roger also owns a Model uh, Three. Yeah. So every time you wash the car, wow, that is, that must be often then. Yeah. 
weekly almost. Yeah, it is around so a week, I think. Yeah. So it will uh, make it a not stick. Yeah, because when you wash the car, you take uh, uh, you dry off the off the list with uh, paper or cloth, and then you seal the constrictor uh, after. Then your window will go down mm -hmm. when it's cold. It won't freeze to the to the list. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's the problem because if it sticks, then you might get uh, lots of issues. Like, like uh, if also if you have tinting, right? The tinting, the tinting might actually detach because it sticks to. Yeah. Yeah. It will pass. It sticks pass. too much. Yeah, stick yeah. 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 In winter. And since the glass on the Tesla goes up on the head, uh -huh. if it's uh, freezed and you yank it off, the windshield can crack. Oh, wow! Okay, so now we take off the uh, whatever. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, wipe off that one. I'm not sure if it ha I mean, the, the damage might not be that deep, but it's more for the visual part, this one. And then there is some... Pit fill, we call it. Okay, pit fill, okay. Uh -huh. Huh. Cool, I've never seen this before. Because, you know, normally... Is that the infrared thing? Yeah. Oh, what is that for? Uh, to make it... Uh, yeah, what do you call it? To make it hard. Oh, okay, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah, so, you know, um, the, the insurance company, they pay for this. Because the insurance company, at least in Norway, uh, if the window, the, if the front windscreen crack, you have to pay uh, a d deductible. It's usually 2,000, around 200 euros. Uh, the whole windscreen is way more expensive. It's like five, five, six times more expensive. So the, the insurance company want you to repair, I mean, to repair, to come here. If you have a little stone chip, come to the glass shop and then repair it as soon as possible because then it will hopefully not crack. You, you, uh, if you get a stone chip and you repair it, it will be supposedly as strong as before, right? Or, Roge, if, if, you, get a, if you get a stone chip yeah. that could crack if you repair it, mm -hmm. then it won't crack, or...? Uh, hopefully it won't, won't crack. Yeah. Okay, so the possibility yeah. of crack is way lower then. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why they want you to fix this <laughs> as soon as possible. So that's pretty cool because it doesn't cost you anything. If you fix just a tiny you know, stone chip, there is no deductible. So that's pretty cool. Okay, take off the excessive stuff. Yeah. And then clean it. And then looks like we're done. Yeah. Oh, it seems to have disappeared a little bit. Yeah, you a little spot, you see. Okay, a tiny spot. Yeah. But it's way less, uh, yeah, visible now. Yeah. Okay, they gave me these, which is, uh, it's kind of funny, right? Yeah, what happened to my finger here? I, I, I hurt myself, that's why. But there's also a band-aid for, for uh, uh, glass. And uh, what you should do is once, if you damage the glass, you should immediately put on the, the band-aid because then you will protect it from schmutz because that's the problem. If you get damaged and you just drive around with it for months, Dirt, sand, whatever will enter the glass and then it will be way harder or impossible to fix it. So put in this and then get over to this or somewhere else and then you can fix it. And as a standard procedure, these speed glass, they will also give you free uh, wiper replacement. Well, technically it's, the, it's the, the insurance company that pays for it. So technically you are paying for it anyway. <laughs> So these are uh, Bosch, uh, Bosch, what's it called, Bosch Twin? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, you can just, I'll, I'll stick. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's called Bosch 
Aero Twin. And they're supposed to be really good. So I remember I got some uh, Bosch wipers from um, Bosch Car Service. Bilex Barton, they were really good. But then last year, I replaced the front windscreen and I also got some new wipers and I feel like they were not that great. But uh, you should also replace wipers regularly because they tend to wear down. Yeah. Where are they? I mean, they, when they get like this. Okay. Will, like uh, get like a film on the windshield. Yes. After, yeah. Exactly. I was, I got that weird. I couldn't really clean it every time I wipe, no matter how much wiper fluid I washed it with. But now we have new wipers. That's good. And then they also refill the wiper fluid. Okay, yeah, it was kind of full already. Yeah. So, okay. You see, for me, always bring duct tape. You never know when you need it. And type two cable and the Metron Shuko charging cable, you see. Yeah, this is what I have in my front. Yeah, what do you have in your front? Oh, yeah, and also, of course, uh, towing uh, rope in case I need to tow. It need to be towed. Yeah, I can't tow anyone. Not with this car. All right, we are done now. That took uh, about half an hour. It was a little bit longer because you had to do some explanation and stuff. But it was nice just to drop in and get it fixed. So let's try the wipers now. Oh, yeah. Oh, the feeling of new wipers. Uh, Roger told me that the wipers are not always the same because they say that these Bosch wipers are special ones made for Nordic uh, winters. So, yeah, I feel like the old wipers, when it was really cold, it kind of jumped. Very noisy. Hopefully these ones, they have softer uh, rubber and they're more silent and then rubs better. Yeah, that's, the, that's the car uh, that Roger drives around with. He used to own uh, an Ionic, that was a while ago. And then he owned uh, a Kona. But then now he wants, uh, he went for a Tesla because he was actually too fed up with uh, charging queues and slow charging and, and so on uh, with, uh, with his Kona. And he's super happy with the Tesla. It's a, a different world, he says. I was like, well, mm -hmm, I know all about it, yeah. Well, okay, so anyway, they gave me some extra stuff. This is standard stuff that you get as a customer. So they gave me a Ries Bielgras, uh, wait, it's a bottle, it's plastic. Yeah, so plastic bottle. Also gave me this one, it's a scraper. Uh, I actually don't need it, but I, I mean, I might need it for other cars, yes. And this one actually is called, what do they say, Narl. You, if, if, if I do some challenge and I have the, the heater off, and it starts fogging, you can use this to, to clear it. <laughs> I might need this after all, yeah. And also, um, they have this deal that if you download the app, the wa washer fluid app, and then you get, well, okay, and then you have to use this code in the app, then you can go to any Ries Bielgras and you get free refill of uh, wiper washer fluid for a whole year. So, yeah, that's actually great for me though, personally. I prefer refilling at home because it's way more convenient. I mix myself at home, yeah, so that's me. But okay, so just as a clarification, this video was not sponsored by Ries Bielgras. I just want to make an episode about this because I see lots of posts nowadays about people having cracked windows or other problems, uh, <laughs> glass exploding, that usually happens in summer for some reason. They say that actually, Rogi also told me that, no, the glass normally doesn't simply explode like that. It's usually caused by something, weakening from misuse or lack of maintenance, uh, stuff like that. So, I mean, while well, we can always discuss, I mean, these big glass, they, their job is to replace glass, so they want glass to crack, right? <laughs> no, I don't know, really. It's like, it's like um, uh, doctors. If you go to a doctor, the doctor won't tell you stuff to make you unhealthy, so they will keep coming back to you. The doctor will also tell you to stay healthy, eat healthy, exercise, and they actually don't want you to come to come back too often. So I think the same goes for Ries Bielgras. So yes, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.